Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is override keyword in C++? This keyword was not there in C++ before and it has arrived in C++ 11 and followed. Okay, so let's see what is this override. This function fun you have overridden. Okay, so this is how we achieve polymorphism in C++. You override some function which is virtual in base. Okay, so this is one simple example of polymorphism this is base class pointer and it is pointing to derived class so whenever you will call this function then the derived class function would be called so that we can just simply see that and yes don't forget to compile this code with this okay uh, standard c plus plus 11 flag here okay it is compiled and if you run it will run and derived function is called so it is printing this derived function which means we have achieved we have achieved polymorphic behavior here okay so now let's talk about override keyword here so what is that override keyword if you will write override here so this is overriding and it won't change anything it will still print the same thing but why do we use override keyword at all then and the reason is testing become easy with this how testing become easy let's say someone is testing your code and he sees this override keyword then he will directly get the idea that he that you are overriding this function okay so the testing becomes easy and the second point is compile time check can be performed what is that compile time check let's suppose you was thinking that you are going to override this function and uh, you just did like this something like this okay and uh, something like this and you write override so this code won't compile and the reason is this syntax is not matching here anywhere so let's suppose this override is not there and you will compile this code. This code will compile. See, it compiled. Okay. So you intended to override this function, but you just simply wrote some signature mismatch, which resulted in not overriding. Okay. So future error could be reduced. So this error you can track in the future. Okay. So that's the simple reason behind using this override keyword. Okay. These two simple reasons. So I think we are done here. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for future coming videos like this. Bye bye.